Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very easy crock pot rib recipe for you. This is perfect for busy weeknights. First you're going to start with your ribs. I'm using spare ribs, but you can use any style of rib that you'd like. I'm just removing the membrane off the back. Now, normally I'm not able to do this in one pool, but for some reason today it just worked out. So I'm happy for the sake of this video I was able to get it off. So once you've got that all done, we're going to season the meat on both sides. I'll list the seasoning that I use below, but you can season it however, you, however you'd like to. Now I'm cutting the meat up into three pieces so that I can fit it into my crock pot. Now I'm getting my liquid mixture together. And now I'm going to try to fit this meat into the crock pot. Normally I use spare ribs or St. Louis style ribs because they're smaller and they fit into my crock pot better. But these spare ribs were on sale so I'm just making it work. The liquid mixture that I'm using is made up of one cup of water and one tablespoon of liquid smoke. But you can also use chicken broth if you'd like. I didn't want to use the chicken broth because I didn't want to add any more salt. So, And I like the flavor of the liquid smoke. So I'm just adding that liquid mixture in and I'm going to cover this up and cook it on high for four hours. So after that's cooked, the meat will come out and be done. And you can see it's really tender. I'm just going to add some barbecue sauce and broil on each side. Did one side for six or seven minutes, then flipped it over and added more barbecue sauce and broiled for another six or seven minutes. And you can use any barbecue sauce you'd like. I just got barbecue sauce from Kroger. So when the meat comes out of the broiler, it's all done and ready to eat and you can see here it's really tender and there's dinner thank you so much for watching please rate this video leave your comments and be sure to subscribe thank you so much